Okay, so just arrived at uh, Mountain Zebra National Park. Luckily, I got a camping spot, so everything is good. And uh, yes, gonna stay here for a night or two. Um, as soon as I entered the park already, I saw a lot of activity. Um, so I'm sure tomorrow morning will be will be uh, will be good as well. Have a lack of fire tonight and um, enjoy a beer. I am not gonna lie, I'm quite tired after that uh, um, Kompasberg climb. Okay, good morning guys. It's just after six and it's it's freezing cold. <sighs> I've had a very good night's rest, um, so can't complain about that. And um, definitely, definitely gonna make myself a coffee right now. I need that. Um, and then we're out uh, to head into the park. Okay, so I just arrived at Hogsback probably about an hour ago. Came to this campsite, it's absolutely beautiful, it's big and spacious. Uh, so I'm just gonna settle in for the night. Um, but yes, Hogsback, absolutely beautiful, it's peaceful. Yes, let's start a fire. What a beautiful walk so far. I uh, wish you could see the, these giant massive red hood trees in person. It is something else. Thank you. 
absolute privilege to be here. Once again, I'm not kidding when I'm saying I'm, I'm alone uh, at most of the places. Yes, it's just very strange. It's a weekend. There's no one else here. Um, and I'm referring to locals. There's no locals around. <sighs> what a privilege. Okay, done with uh, with the short hikes in in uh, Hogsback. Absolutely beautiful with the waterfalls up here. And it's luscious and green with all the trees around. The sound of the wind. Oh, it's amazing, and it always feels good to be out. So, uh, starting to get hot just after 12 p.m. and um, I think a beer will be nice on this Saturday. Let's go! It is day 9 of the trip and um, I've just left Hogsback after two days over there. It was absolutely beautiful and um, had a nice time just hiking around doing the, the local trails. And uh, yes, today is Sunday. Uh, so it's my off day, it's a lazy day and uh, we watched the Springboks versus uh, Australia and we lost. Um, so it's not ideal, it's uh, not the ideal ending to a, to a weekend but um, I'm on my way to Morgan's Bay. Okay, good morning. It is day 10 of the trip and I'm here in the beautiful Morgan's Bay. I arrived here late yesterday afternoon and um, I just had to find a place with, with decent enough Wi-Fi so I can uh, start uploading the episodes but I've yet to found a place so I stayed at the Morgan's Bay Hotel absolutely lovely stay the ladies working at the front desk as well very kind and friendly and welcoming um, so I definitely recommend the Morgan's Bay Hotel if not there are plenty of other, other spots around Morgan's Bay as well uh, which I am heading to one of those and that is the Double Mouth Camping Ground which is a, it's a resort as well or sorry a reserve as well but there are plenty of things you can do here in Morgan's Bay and I didn't uh, I didn't expect that I mean you can go uh, to the reserve the Double Mouth uh, Nature Reserve you can do obviously some hiking you can take the sandboards and go down the dunes fishing kayaking um, there, there's plenty of things to do. You know, this is the thing, um, I guess that's probably the best about the Wild Coast is the fact that you can it is wild. It means there's 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 not a lot of directions and indications where you can get a lookout point or a viewpoint unless it's at a at a park or a reserve. So yes, if you just go a little further by yourself, uh, you'll find these places. The view from up here is honestly amazing. This is this is uh, this is the wild coast. Okay, that was amazing. What an unbelievable view. So just uh, arrived at Double 
double mouth camping site and a check team so we're just gonna find a camping spot Yes, Morgan's Bay is just uh, something I did not expect it to be. It's, it's extremely beautiful. Um, it's so scenic as well. It's untouched, especially this coastline uh, over here. That's why they call it the, the Wild Coast. And Morgan's Bay is renowned for, their, for its cliffs. And uh, tonight on the menu I've got some buffalo wings, some vorsch because I'm going to make some uh, burwors rolls. And then I've got these chili and garlic bry rolls. Um, so yes, looking forward to, to that as well. You know, there's, a, there's a, a few misconceptions about the wild coast. It's uh, that you need to be aware, constantly aware, and you need to be safe and be on the lookout and just be safe. Um, and I haven't felt that, uh, that need to be, to be like that. Um, it is, oh, it's beautiful over here. And everyone's been super friendly. And before I forget, that's something I'm quite disappointed in is the fact that I lost a lot of uh, episode 3's uh, video files so that is the the, the Hogsback and Mountain Zebra National Park clips I um, I did not save one of the backups and um, I lost all those files so right now I'm busy using a recovery program um, to get back those files Okay, so I left uh, campsite probably about an hour ago and uh, there was no wind at all and uh, the wind has started to pick up and uh, the clouds have started to roll in as well so uh, hopefully it won't start raining soon but I, I guess rain is on the way Finish with uh, Morgan's Bay Cliff Hike. It's not very long, uh, the, the trail that I did. It's about three kilometers, but it's just it's something else. It's so beautiful because this is genuinely the wild coast. It is untouched beauty, and I've got this whole stretch of beach for myself. <laughs> um, it's so beautiful over here. But yes, like I said, the wind has started to pick up. And uh, it's time to head back to campsite, pack everything up. Okay, so about 400 meters away from Duesa Nature Reserve. It is located right next to the ocean. Uh, so the bird life here is 
going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to, to filming that. Um, because it'll be something else. It'll be a, a nice change. Okay, so I just arrived at Duesa Nature Reserve, checked in, and I'm standing here at the camping grounds. It is absolutely beautiful over here. They've got 40 camping sites and um, they've got these big trees surrounding the camping ground with just beautiful bush in the background all over. So it's 35 kilometers away from where I stayed last night, but it took two hours and 25 minutes, almost two and a half hours to get here. Mm-hmm.